Mic Chat. I'm a martial arts instructor and action director, and I'm here with the Desire Company. Now I'm gonna take you through a fun and exciting XMA Extreme Martial Arts workout. We're gonna cover cardio, power, and performance for movie martial arts. No prior experience required. So get ready, let's go. All right, before we get started, if you have your gloves, go ahead and put them on, any kind of gloves. If you have your products, your training tools, targets, kicking shields, kicking paddles to use, a partner, have them to the side ready. No partner, no problem, don't worry about it. If you feel like we're going too fast, if you get a little dizzy or lightheaded, take a break, stop, regain your balance, your composure, hydrate, and then jump back in when you're ready. Everybody feet together, hands at your side, chest out, chin up. This is called your set position. And bow. And welcome to XMA, here we go. Go ahead and start running in place. We're gonna get the body moving. As you're running in place here, then I just want you to start turning in a circle. Go ahead and reverse it the other way, all right? And then go ahead and tail kickers. I'm gonna do this real quick. Normally, you would do this a couple times. Reverse it the other way. As you're running in place now, I want you to start extending, okay? And time this out with your feet. You're just gonna start throwing your jab cross, just like this, okay? That's it, nice and easy. Now what I want you to do is bring those knees even higher, okay? Even higher up. Good, just do that for about 10 seconds. And as you do that, now start to add in the punches with your high knees. Good, that's it. And three, two, one. Good, and shake it out. Now we're going to just activate our hip flexors, lower stomach, and you're just going to push and pull here. Notice I'm not saying knee. I want you to focus on the push and the pull much more. When we're doing martial art movements, we want fluidity in the body, so we wanna make sure that we have reaction force with our techniques. That's gonna eventually create the most power. Switch knees, good. Now you're on the left side, and you're just going to bring the knee up like this, all right? Then we're gonna alternate, here we go. Right, left, right, left. You can do this in one spot, you wanna keep that going. You can do this circling, okay? Here, again, pushing and pulling. All right, good. Go ahead and shake out your legs, shake out your hands. Now, we're just going to put these together into simple combinations. Again, during the warm up, we're not worried about technical instruction. The goal is just to get your body warm, okay? Warm and ready to go. So, no stance, no chance. Step back with the right leg, hands up, chin down, and you're just gonna start punching, okay? Cross punching, just like that. Then you're gonna go from the center, okay, after about 20 seconds, then you're gonna start to reach a little bit more and you're gonna go to the corners. We don't need to go all the way to the side because when we get to the performance side, that takes too long. We just wanna get to the corners, okay? Cross punching to the corners. That's it, all right? And then we wanna warm up those hook punches, okay? So when you do the hook punch, nice big sweeping hooks. Now, if, if you notice, this would be a real hook punch. If you're gonna hit here, this is a movie martial art hook punch, but we wanna warm up. So let's extend all the way through. Extend, okay? Big sweeping hooks here, okay? Let's go ahead and warm up those uppercuts. We wanna do the uppercuts like a circular motion here, right underneath the chin. If you notice, my feet are moving. I'm not static with my feet here. It's a circular motion up underneath the chin. You bring it back here. Elbows in tight to the body, okay? Just like that. All right, good. And then you can move it a little bit faster, right? Stay on the balls of your feet here. Simple, uppercut, okay? All right, that's it. Now let's go ahead and duck. I want you to over-exaggerate and duck. Duck. Now, you wanna get your cardio, your workout on. You're gonna activate your quads here and duck across, okay? Here we go, so let's just start with that jab. Okay, so we're increasing the intensity. We're gonna start with that jab here and we're just gonna do it continuously, nice and easy. Now, I want you to think of the concept one to 10. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, 10 and you wanna increase in speed, power, intensity, so this way you can go from just cardio to power to performance, okay? Set the timer, and you're gonna go all out. And I'm gonna break up the levels for three, two, 
One, and go. Repeat. Pow, pow, pow. Good. As fast as you can. The key is to focus on just getting your body warming, warming up. The first 10 seconds, you're increasing the emotion, the intensity a little bit. Okay? As you pass the 10 second mark, feel it in your base, in your stance. Make sure that you're pivoting your hips even more. Pivot your hips into that technique. Good, keep it going. Now, after 20 seconds, we're ramping it up. If you're switching side, you only have to do 30 seconds. Now let's bring it up to a level 10 for the last five seconds. Four, three, two, one, wham. Good, switch other side. Here we go, ready? And we're, we're in the first 10 seconds. Bam, bam, boom, boom. We're focusing on the extension. We're focusing on getting warmed up. As you get into the second 10 seconds, now hip rotation, pivoting in your foot. Foot, hips, shoulders. Foot, hips, shoulders, boom, into the punch. Good, the last 10 seconds, here we go. This is it, this is a countdown. Eight, seven, six, bring it up to a level 10. Five, four, three, two, and bam, one. Okay, good, shake it out, deep breaths. Hydrate, grab your water. That's the warm up. Now that we're warmed up, Let's jump into the first combination. Jab cross hook combination. Looks like this. Okay, so let's walk it through. You ready? Right leg back. No stance, no chance. Make sure that your base, your stance is strong. Plant your feet firm to the ground. Hands up, chin down. And we're going to extend the jab first, rotating the shoulders into the technique. A lot of people will do this and they'll lean way far away, but we wanna go into the technique. Jab, okay, cross the center, and then big sweeping hook punch, just like that. So, without any prior experience, just start moving, and then we'll refine as we go. Jab, cross, hook, okay? Repeat on the other side, jab, cross, hook. If you notice, I'm staying in one spot right now. Jab, cross, hook. When I start to jab, whichever hand I'm using, that foot goes forward. Jab, right hand, right foot, cross, hook. We can go forward with this. Jab, cross, step forward, hook. Jab, cross, step forward, hook. Go ahead and try that a couple times, just so that way you can get a feel for it. And the reason why I'm not teaching you one way is because there's never one way to do any technique. Movie martial arts, attackers are gonna come from all different directions. So it's not about learning a technique a specific way, it's about learning techniques and applying it to the situation, and that's the best way to actually learn how to defend yourself, not thinking that there's one way to do something, okay? Then you want to increase your sound and your power, so you're breathing. Good. Good. If you have your gloves on, if you have your training tools and a partner, then you can do this drill on a bag, you can use blockers, you can use square targets. There's many different versions. We're just gonna go through a couple real quick, okay? Now with a partner, you can use any kind of kicking shield or target. This is my favorite, the Century Blast Master because of the width, you can really blast it, so to say. You're gonna square up, strong stance, if I'm gonna start left, right, left with the left hand here, my right leg is back, hands up, chin down. I'm going to pivot into versus away from, right? So I'm gonna pivot into the punch here, cross punch here. Your partner is going to turn 45 degree angle and you're going to do the hook punch here, okay? From this position, I step back, okay? Now I'm in position to switch right, then left, your partner turns 45 degree angle, and I shift right into that hook punch, okay? So a little bit faster here, jab, cross, hook, and then jab, cross, hook. Then start at a pace that is comfortable for you. You don't need to go right to 100%. You wanna build it step by step. All right, so let's go for 30 seconds. Hands up, chin down, strong base, jab, Cross, turn, good, shift back, jab, cross, turn, and then shift back, jab, cross, turn. Just like that. 
Then in focusing on power, this is a total body experience starting from the ground up, right? You have to make sure that you're in a strong stance. We call this in martial arts a back stance or a boxing stance, but you just wanna be stable. Position yourself in, slightly turn at a 45, hands up, chin down, and then as you go into the punch, you're rotating slightly forward, strong here, and then notice here, I am not going to shift back this way because I lose this. There's no way I can break a board, let alone knock this guy back when I'm already at full extension. So from here, I need to shift into the punch. Now I have room to extend, right? Then your partner turns to the 45 degree and from this position with my feet, I'm stepping and I'm shifting in versus if I'm here and I shift, that, that's what I'm gonna hit, nothing but air. Right? So after I extend here, I need to step. Boom. And now I have room to extend. You want to make sure that your base is strong and then everything evolves from the ground up. So we want to start to ramp it up. The most important part about developing power starts from your base. So you want to make sure you have strong base, strong foundation. Plant your feet in the ground. Hands up, chin down. Now instead of cardio, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Then now it's more about anaerobic versus aerobic. Now we wanna make sure that our composure is set. We're focused and we're focusing 100% ultimately on the end of each technique, but then building eight, nine, 10, okay? So I'm moving at about 40, 50% speed and power, okay? As I ramp it up, that shh, shh, that's gonna turn into shh, shh, and I'm gonna use the momentum of the first to really shift and deliver the second into the third, and then the final finish, right? We wanna focus on power. It's not about how many reps you can do, it's about making sure every rep counts, right? For TV and film, sometimes we need to show more facial expression in order to really sell it, make it look real. So then instead of just here, then we start strong and strong. And this is a concept where instead of going here, then I'm gonna start here. Ah, pa, 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 yeah. And then I'm gonna finish strong and just adding those first, the, the first yell and the end yell helps to make it a little bit more exciting, okay? So also on the workout side, it's going to improve your cardio. It's going to increase your power when you're breathing stronger and or yelling. And then overall, you're gonna get a much better workout. You're gonna increase and move, progress much faster and maximize your time when you're training. So if you combine all three, the cardio, the power and the performance, you're set. So, movie martial arts, whether you wanna be an actor or not, you can definitely train like an action hero. Then, now we wanna spice it up. Start with a yell, end with a yell. Give me a yell. No, like actually yell out loud right now. Ready, give me a yell, ah! Right, so don't worry about technique so much, you can clean that up later. For right now, it's the energy, the intensity, the emotion, the subtext, what's going on. You're, you're, you're ready to save the world, they're coming to attack you. Here we go, ah, nice and strong, and then bam, bam, and then you finish them off. Eight, nine, bam, 10, here, and then their head goes tumbling over, or you hit the guy in the chest and you send them through the armored car, wham, and then bam, you shift back into your stance, okay? And that's the finish. Other side, boom, boom, ah, huh. Now notice that time I looked away. That's actually called a style element. So I can punch and look at you, bam, here, and come back, or I can look away, boom, huh, and then come back. Totally different feel, right? So then that's why you see when we train superheroes, it's like, oh, oh. they look away and they come back and that gives a different type of dynamic and feeling to the moves. That's about performing, not what you do, how well you do it. So I want you to add some of these style elements into what you're doing, ramp up the intensity, the energy, it's going to increase speed and power and then you're gonna be performing just like the action heroes you see on screen. So now you can do this over and over and over. You can pick 15 seconds, the last 30 seconds, the last minute, you create the time interval, and then you're just gonna step back and you're gonna go. Ah, start strong, boom, boom, 
All the way to the end, and then the last one. Boom, boom. And then shake it out, go grab a drink, hydrate, and you're ready to go on to the next combination. Now that you got your break, combo number two, jab, cross, uppercut, hook. We're gonna add the knee here. And then back, all right? So we've got the uppercut, we've got the knee. We're just gonna add that into this combination. So you already know what to do with the jab, cross, hook. We're gonna insert the uppercut. Jab, cross, uppercut, hook. Okay, let's try that again. Jab, cross, uppercut, hook. Jab, cross, uppercut, hook. Execution meaning the follow through. Let's not worry about all the little details, just follow through. The best punch is the one that lands. As long as you connect and you follow all the way through, okay? Then the other side, jab, cross, uppercut, hook. Now as you're doing this, keep repeating that over and over. You're gonna go from the left side, jab, cross, uppercut, hook, to the right side. Back and forth, back and forth. Do that for the next 10 seconds, and then shake it out. Good. Make sure you finish strong at the end. Don't forget the strong finish, right? You finish the hook, and finish strong in your power position, and then shake it out, okay? Then we're gonna add in the knee. The knee is gonna go at the end. So jab, cross, uppercut, hook, okay? Notice I'm already turned this way, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch the side and I'm gonna go this way, left knee, boom, okay? That puts me on the other side so I can now start with the right hand first and it automatically puts me in the right position, okay? So jab, cross, uppercut, hook, right? So I'm turned this way, I'm gonna step this way, knee, and then back. One more time. Jab, cross, uppercut, hook, shift, boom, knee. I'm already set in my next position. Jab, cross, uppercut, hook, shift, knee. And I snap back. So remember for the cardio portion, this is continuous motion. So there should be no long stopping or pausing. If you get tired, some movement is better than no movement. You wanna increase your heart rate, maintain that level for a specific amount of time. We're just gonna do this for the next 60 seconds, continuous, nonstop. Ready, set, dynamic entry, start strong. And go. One, two, three, boom, shift, bam, come back. One, two, three, four, shift, bam. Come back. So you're gonna continue that over and over. As you get past 30, now start to kick it up. Don't slow it down a little bit faster, a little bit stronger. We wanna hear that breath a little bit more. Right? And then as you get to 40, 50 seconds, now we've got the final 10 second countdown. Here we go, ready? 10, nine, eight, bring the boom, bam. Six, five, four, really extend. Two, one, finish strong. Yeah. Good, keep your body moving, keep your body moving, okay? In between, as we transition into power, don't stop moving, so this way you can transition from cardio to power. Now you're going to keep moving, go grab your water, hydrate. Now moving on to power. The goal is to hit full exertion, maximum force. We're here, jab, cross, uppercut, hook, right? Nine, shift, and boom, 10, okay? And you're back. If you have a partner, then here's a simple way to do this drill with a partner, with one of your training tools. Then I'm gonna bring in my partner and we're gonna focus on the Muay Thai pads. Again, we're focused on power. So then that's why I have the thick, super dense Muay Thai pads, not the blockers or a hand target. I wanna be able to really follow through. Then we need the density in the pad or you might wanna use the Sentry Blastmaster. Not a regular kicking shield, especially for the knee, okay? Strong stance, hands up, chin down. I'm gonna lean into it, lean into it. Come up underneath it, boom, right here. Everything's tight, okay? I'm gonna step back and then boom, okay? 
and then I'm gonna hit my end position. So when you're going for power, again, it's not cardio. Take your time, pick your shots, focus on the pads, make sure you're making solid contact, and always check in and communicate with your partner so this way you're both feeling comfortable. Imagine yourself on set, movie camera, lights, monsters, ninjas, whatever, and you're setting up, start strong. Pop, 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 uh, switch, boom, right? And then now you're set up for the next one. You, you might get ready, you're seeing them coming in. Right? For the next 60 seconds, I want you full on performance, 100% action, go, yeah. And then you go through the combination. You're pushing, you're pushing. As you get to 20, 30 seconds, you're ramping it up. You might get tired, but we have to focus on going for the home stretch, the final battle. You destroyed these guys over here. You took out those guys over here. You took out the guys over there. But here's the final five. The final five. five, five, five boom. And then you're gonna send it home, finish strong. Ah. Right, hold your position. Five, as they zoom in, four, hero shot. Three, two, one. Relax, do not do the... You cannot be a superhero and, and we hear you huffing and puffing. You need to control your breath. Deep breath in, hold, two, three, hold it, hold it, tight on you, and then cut. And now you walk off like the champ. Grab your water, grab your drink, keep your body moving. We're gonna be coming into the final part of the class. Focus on what did you do well? What can you improve on? And remember, oh yeah, but I did this really well. That was super cool. Then plan your work, work your plan. Write it down, take some notes, log and track. What is not measurable is not manageable. If you wanna create results, whether it's in your physique, whether it's in your energy, your outlook, your perspective, your mental health, spiritually, whatever, whatever your reason is for taking this class today, then I want you to log it, track it, and then you'll be able to see what kind of results you're getting and you'll be able to maximize your effort, all right? Great job, you kick butt. Thank you so much for joining us. Everybody, set, bow, and we'll see you at the next one.